Hello everyone and welcome to Algorithmist channel. It's been a long time since uh, I have uploaded any videos. So from now on I shall be uploading the videos in or in direction of this code shift DS and Algo certification program. It's a pretty good program and uh, basically it has three levels that is foundation, advanced and expert. And uh, anyone who wants to learn DS and Algo in a structured way, they have a nicely curated list of the of the topics uh, from where you can learn and some practice problems. So what I shall do is uh, any problem I find difficult while solving, I shall upload the video solution for the same, which will even help you in your preparation. So this playlist shall be in uh, accordance with the foundation level syllabus. So let's get started. The first topic is asymptotic analysis or the big O notations. There are pretty good links for the same. If you visit each of the links, uh, mm, I hope your basics uh, regarding the uh, big O notations will get clear. Second one is the arrays. Um, here, uh, here we have few problems uh, which involve the use of arrays and some basic logic. Uh, today I shall uh, show you the solution for this problem COPS. Uh, the above problems are easy and if you refer the editorial you can get the solution. So let me show you the problem COPS. Okay, fine. So what this problem states? There are 100 houses on a straight line. So th the first 100 houses on a straight line. Then next is the first houses are numbered from 1 and the last house is 100. Okay. And some of the houses are occupied by the COPS. Fine. The thief has stolen a bag and he is looking for a house to hide. Okay, next is what the Devu uh, knows that the cops runs at a maximum speed of x and uh, they will search for y minute. So we have given the speed and we have given the time y. Now Devu wants to know how many houses are safe. Okay, fine. So it's a pretty good and easy problem. So let me tell you some key points what, what they have given. They have given 100 houses are there on a straight line. So basically you can assume that 100 houses are on a number line uh, like 1 to 100 and few of the houses are occupied by the cops and uh, for each cop uh, they are uh, each cop has same speed and same time x into y now they wants to know like uh, how he can reach uh, or how many houses are safe for, uh, safe for him so uh, let's see the input format first line is the number of test cases the second line is at m x and y that is number of houses where the cops are residing and the uh, speed and the time and the third line is the mm, the house number where the cops are residing fine and if uh, finally what you have to give output is guy the number of houses uh, which are safe that is the count of houses uh, which are safe if there is uh, no safe house you should uh, return zero okay fine now let's get to the solution of this problem uh, so i have drawn a diagram for you so, uh, so you can get an idea of what the problem is so we have given that the speed is x and the time is y so the from basic uh, formula you can get that distance is equal to x into y so this is the number line uh, 1, 2, 3 up to 100. So let's assume that we have our cop at some arbitrary position C. So once we have the distance x into y, we can know that the cop can move in right direction uh, with distance x into y and in the left direction with distance x into y. So basically on the right side it can move C plus x into y or C plus distance and on the left side you can move C minus x into y. Uh, right. So whatever the houses come within those distances, all are reachable by the cop, hence they are unsafe for our thief. But the thing to be uh, taken into consideration is, uh, when we move towards the left side, that is distance x into y can go beyond 1, that is c minus the distance can go beyond 1. So we should put our the threshold limit at 1, that is whenever the distance goes beyond 1, you put it uh, that the value should be 1. And similar on the right side, the distance c plus x into y can move uh, beyond 100. So whenever the distance goes beyond 100, you put the uh, threshold at 100, fine. And so whatever houses uh, are within those ranges, you mark them as unsafe. And this uh, procedure you follow for all the cops. And uh, once and once uh, all the cops have been uh, visited and their houses uh, within the ranges are marked as unsafe, the houses which are left, you can count them and you can tell these many houses are uh, like safe for our thief. So I hope you understood the algorithm. Uh, let me show you the solution for this. Uh, I have coded this solution in Python. Uh, if you hmm, once you know the algorithm, you can do it in your own language. Uh, right. So I shall show you how it is done. Like see, first I have taken the input for the test cases and I am looking through these test cases. Each test case has m, x and y that is the number of houses uh, uh, where the cops are residing and uh, uh, it's like x the, the speed and y is the time. I am taking input for the cops that is it has houses where the cops are residing. 
I am sorting them and finally I am calculating the distance here x into y. Now I am creating a house array where uh, I have my 100 houses are there as we know that number line is from 1 to 100 in the question and I am marking them as 1 right. Now the 1 means that initially all the houses are safe. Now what I am doing for each cop I am uh, calculating the minimum range where he can go and the maximum range where he can go between 1 to 100. So the minimum of the houses he which can reach is one mini maximum of one comma c minus distance. Uh, like as you can see that c minus distance can go beyond one that is like minus two minus three minus four. So to put the threshold, I'm uh, using the max uh, that is uh, whichever is the maximum between one and the c minus distance. You put it mm, that your uh, the lowest range. And uh, similarly for maximum of h uh, that the dis that the traversal can go from. Uh, the current position c plus uh, distance that can go from above 100 that is 101 105 and so on so whatever is the minimum between the two that is mm, you can use that as your the right range so finally uh, whatever the houses that come within the minimum of h and maximum of h you mark them as zero uh, basically uh, i have done the same here and finally the remaining ones you can uh, sum them up and that is your answer because uh, as the house arrays is of one and zeros so whatever ones are there mm, those you can count and you can tell like yes uh, these many houses are there which are safe for our thief so that's it uh, for today guys i hope you understood the problem the i shall revise it once uh, like there are only three points that is uh, you have given the speed you have given the time from that you can get the distance uh, the thing you must take care of that the distance on the both left and right side should not go beyond one and should not go beyond 100 so you have to put a threshold for that and whatever you get the uh, lowest and the highest range for the cop you mark all the houses within that range as zero and finally uh, once you have done with this or uh, for all the cops you sum your array uh, the, that is your safe and unsafe uh, fields and uh, finally you get the answer for the same so thank you guys, uh, I shall be coming with next video very soon.